What's going on guys and welcome to another episode of Tea Time and today we are looking at Blueberry Matcha by David's Tea. For anyone who isn't familiarized with matcha, matcha is a concentrated form of green tea in which the green tea leaves are basically grounded up and you mix them into your water instead of steeping them. That means that you are ingesting 100% the green tea leaves but you don't really notice because of the way it's powdered almost as I like to say looks like chocolate milk mix in that sense, but it's tea and it's 100% healthy for you. You get about 10 times your amount of antioxidants from green tea in one cup of matcha versus your traditional steeping methods. Now I've had blueberry green tea before and it was a very interesting flavor, but I love all things blueberry. So blueberry matcha was a tea that I felt like I had to pick up, I had to review for you guys, and I had to really see for myself just how it holds up. Now when we look at it, this is 25 calories per cup it says to use five to six matcha spoons in here. You have to whisk it for it to kind of uh, blend in great because matcha will start to separate if it sits for too long. That's kind of the only downside with it. And there is medium amounts of caffeine in here. It doesn't really state the caffeine amount because I guess that varies depending on how much you use. Now, with the 25 calories, it does have seven grams of sugar, including five added grams of sugar, which in itself isn't awful. I mean, I don't like adding things to my tea, but when we look at the ingredients, the first ingredient is cane sugar. Uh, the second one is matcha green tea. Then we have natural blueberry flavoring. I always hate when sugar is the first ingredient as well, but David's Tea's matcha is usually top of the line from what I've had. So as you see, it does come in a nice dark green tea blend once it's all whisked up. Uh, many of you may have been thinking it was going to have a bluish color because it's blueberry, but unfortunately it does retain a lot of the properties of green tea, and it's only natural blueberry flavoring. There's no actual blueberries in here. So I made this about 10 minutes ago. We've been letting this sit and cool down. It is a beautiful 66 degree fall day here in New Jersey right now. A little cloudy, did some food shopping, but I felt today was a great day to try this matcha blueberry tea by David's Tea. So let's Take a couple sips, let's see what we got. Now offhand, scent wise, matcha usually does give a very radiating scent of green tea. Um, not in a bad way, but you do smell more of the green tea than you would the flavoring. And that's kind of expected from matcha. The flavor is usually only noticed when ingesting it. So let's take these sips. So it's definitely still very hot, which, I mean, that's my downside from not waiting long enough to let this cool down. But a hot cup of tea on a cold, breezy fall day, you can't really go wrong with it, in my opinion. Now, from the sips I'm getting, you're immediately getting the blueberry flavor. It comes right with the first sip, and that's the good thing. I've had some matches in the past, none from David's Tea, um, for that matter, that tastes more like the green tea than they do the flavoring. And I know that can be off-putting for some people because they see a fruit flavor in the name and they want it to taste just like that. However, David's Tea always, always has the ability to blend the green tea flavoring with the flavor that they're looking to encompass perfectly. And I am very, very satisfied with that. So with the matcha green tea, blueberry flavoring that is, it's good. It's tasty. If this were cooled down a little bit, you would probably see me downing this right now. As I mentioned, I'm a little biased because I do love all flavors blueberry, and that's one of the reasons I picked this up. And, you know, for anyone who does want a nice fall matcha tea, I do think blueberry matcha by David's Tea is a good choice because you get those nice blueberry tones, all the benefits of matcha, and green tea is also great for weight loss, so me being within the weight loss challenge right now, perfect alternative to anything else I was going to ingest if it wasn't tea, coffee, or water. Um, tea also is amazing just in general, but one thing, green tea has so many different benefits to it, from the weight loss properties to the antioxidants, to the catchings that are in there that protect your brain health, your mood, your stability, uh, in terms of things like that, if you have anxiety or whatnot, it does help level you out, I've noticed, and scientifically proven, all the different antioxidants that are in green tea have so many benefits to the body. So green tea on its own definitely could have a kind of a strong taste, depending, uh, the 
fermentation and the processing of the green tea, which can be off-putting to some people. I have had some green teas that taste like straight grass that you grow to like over time. However, getting a flavored green tea that isn't hopped up with a lot of different sugars, um, luckily enough this is only 5 grams, I think is beneficial for a lot of people to get into the green tea game and find a flavor that they might be for. So that's my little quick review of Blueberry Matcha by David's Tea. I would give this maybe like an 8.5 um, because it's good. It definitely takes some time to prepare and prepare properly. Um, you do have to whisk it as I mentioned, so you're going to have to have a separate bowl. Um, typically, too, traditionally, I've seen it, you know, in the Asian culture, they will drink the matcha straight from the bowl, which is kind of translated here as to how we do it. I like to whisk it and then attempt to pour it into a mug for a traditional um, English tea experience, I guess you could say. Only downside with that is you have to have perfect coordination or you will spill it over your countertop like I have done multiple times in the past. Today, we were successful, so pat myself on the back for that one. Um, but yeah, you get the nice hints of the blueberry, you get all the benefits of green tea, um, and it's just a really tasty, tasty beverage that on a cold night, a cold day, plus the caffeine, it's a great pick-me-up at any point of the day, guys. That's my little quick review. If you've had Blueberry Matcha by David's Tea before, leave, uh, leave your thoughts down in the comment section below. As always, thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, we're going to wait for this to cool down a little bit, then we're going to guzzle it because I'm a little tired. I need the energy. And it's tasty. Have a good one, guys. I'll see you later.